So I thought I'd show you guys how I glue the uh, brass tubes into the uh, pieces of wood. I always first uh, make sure I sand the brass tubes and uh, I always put, do a dry run, a dry fit to make sure that the brass tube will fit inside the piece of wood before I put all the glue on it. This is some uh, Hobby Bond thick cyanoacrylate glue, basically super glue. So I always have gloves on. This is very important. I put a paper towel on my uh, tool card here and another paper towel here. This one is just to hold the wood and the brass tube for now. This one over here is for me to wipe off my uh, fingertips after each pen blank that I do. I have a bunch more. Yeah, you guys can see them. I glued, just glued up all of those there. And I cannot stress how important gloves are. So basically I put more glue on here on this end than I do obviously where I'm holding it. So I put this in, twist, and go in and out a couple times as long as the wood is dry. If you have just cut the wood, this is not going to work. You need to shove that um, pen tube, the brass tube, in as quick as possible because I think the water makes the glue dry. So I put it in, twist, twist a couple times, pull it out, and then I put it back in to the other side as quick as I can. And then always have a nail ready to push this tube. See, your finger can only get it flat. So your finger can only get it flat once there's glue in there. So I take the head of a nail that I've either um, sanded down a little and I can just push that in just a little as far as I want. But obviously making sure that I'm not coming out the other side. Or you can use the tip of a nail and actually just take this and run the uh, tip of the nail down the side on the inside of the uh, piece of wood there and you can actually just push the pen tube in. So I'll, uh, I'll show you guys how I do one of these. I have to do this pretty quick, so uh, you guys will have to pay attention because this glue sets up pretty fast. It's about, it, it does depend on temperature, how hot it is. If it's real warm, uh, it'll set up a lot quicker. If it's cold outside, um, it'll take it a lot longer. And do not go um, sparingly with the glue. You need lots of glue because the last thing that I want is this um, pen tube to uh, to um, be while I'm trying to turn it uh, the uh, pen tube separates on the inside and I basically have to re-glue it but that's how you do one I'll show you guys another one so I figure I'll uh, show you guys how to do another one with uh, Try to do this a little bit slower. So again, always do a dry run. Good and good. That's a little tight, but I can work with that. So just put the glue on the uh, brass tube here. Again, don't be spring. This is not, uh, don't be stingy either. Lots of glue. Because you want good, good, good coverage in there. Now that that's on there, I take this and turn. Turn quickly and then put it in, get the nail, push it in. Hopefully I got that on camera. But yeah, this is uh, relatively simple. But you once you get good at it, it's uh, it becomes almost second nature. Just real, uh, real quick. You have to be quick. I cannot stress that enough. I'll do one more here for you. So again, put, putting the glue on. And always put more glue on the end. That goes in first. Twist and push it in and I like to work it around a little bit and then go back in here and put the back in the other side and then put push that in and BAM! Just like that. 
I've made, uh, oh my gosh, I've probably made almost 60 pens by now. And uh, you get a system down for sure. Oh, I didn't do a dry run on that. Oh, well. Sometimes you get lucky. Just like that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one.